wonder what running economy is and the fastest way to improve it? That is going to be the topic of our brain bomb for today. Now, running economy doesn't refer to being a thrifty runner. Oh, no, 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 no. Running economy is a measure of how efficiently your body uses oxygen while running at a given pace. Now, improving running economy can lead to faster race times, less fatigue, and enhanced overall performance. Now that we know what running economy is, what's the fastest way to improve it? Let me actually rephrase that question. What is the fastest way to improve it, and what are the best ways to improve it? Now, absolutely, the fastest way to improve running economy is to open your wallet, get out 300 bucks, and go buy a pair of running super shoes. You know those curved little doodads with the carbon fiber rocker plate that has been shown by research to improve running economy by 2 to 4%? Yeah, those things. That is absolutely the fastest way to improve running economy. But I don't know about you. I really don't want to buy a pair of shoes just for racing or that may run out quick. I would rather use that money for things more important like post-run beers and nachos. So let's go to the best way to improve running economy. And there are two ways. The first is do plyometric training. Now this just involves explosive movements like jump squats, box jumps, etc. And you would want to perform these about two times a week to increase overall power production in your lower body that would lead to improved running economy. The second best way to improve running economy is to hit the gym at least two times a week. And we're not talking about going in there and getting your light little weights out and doing high reps and light weight and low rest, you know, that fancy schmancy baloney. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We're talking about heavy strength training. Think four to five sets of five reps at 85 to 100% of your one RM with about three to four minutes of rest in between sets. Now, you absolutely want to build up to this point. But when you do this, it will increase running economy through improved muscular power, strength, and endurance. Now, if you want to take a real deep dive into the best ways to improve running economy, head on over to the Endure Elite blog where I just wrote a big article on running economy.